Hey guys, what's up? My name is Emily Hood and we are back for another episode of The Hood Report where I am not sick and dying and I am back to my normal self, thank God. On this week's episode, we will be discussing the French presidential elections, Prince Harry's latest, cutest relationship and how 25 seconds could change the world. <laughs> France voted for their next president, but this election did not go off without its own fair share of scandals. Candidate Emmanuel Macron faced off against Marine Le Pen in this fierce battle. One of the more recent stories from this election was when 9 gigabytes of emails from Macron's campaign was leaked onto the internet. The NSA believed Russia could be responsible for the attack, but they lacked enough evidence to prove Russia's involvement in the hack. Despite this major scandal, Macron beat Le Pen by a landslide earning 66.1% of the French popular vote. One of Macron's main policies was a promise to bring unity to France and I think it could be a very interesting next couple of years for the country. Prince Harry and his new girlfriend Meghan Markle went out on their first public outing and I am so excited about it. Markle who plays Rachel Zane on the TV law drama shoots cheered on Prince Harry from the sidelines of his charity polo match. Markle's had a pretty rough couple of months after it was confirmed that they two were a couple and she has been dealing with so much harassment that the Kensington Palace had to release a statement on her behalf. One of the quotes from the statement said that some of this has been very public. The front page of a newspaper, the racial undertones of comic pieces, and the outright sexism and racism of social media trolls and web article comments. This like snaps my heart into literal pieces. I have been watching Suits since season one and I knew Meghan Markle like before she started dating Harry and getting all this press and I feel like I'm the parent of a bullied child right now and it makes me so angry. I'm still really excited about the fact though that Meghan and Harry are a couple and I think they're so cute and I'm just, I'm so obsessed with the royal family. I, ugh. Who knew that 25 seconds could change the world? Early Saturday morning, a Louis Jeep Koje clocked in the world's fastest marathon time at 2 hours and 25 seconds, just barely missing breaking that under 2 hour barrier. The event was sponsored by Nike who wanted to see if somebody could break that 2 hour marathon barrier, but because of Nike's optimization in pacing strategy and hydration intake, the run will not be counted as an official world record. I mean, this just like blows my mind though because if a marathon is 26.2 miles and he's running the marathon in 2 hours and 25 seconds that means he's running each mile at about 4 minutes and 30 seconds that's like full out sprinting for 26.2 miles and i mean like my average mile time is like 9 minutes on a good day so that means he could easily beat me in two miles in the time that it took me to run one. Like what? Are you kidding? And we have come to an end to this week's episode. We only have one more episode left until summer break. Oh. Well, it actually makes me sad. <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode and you want to keep up to date on future episodes and all of the other great content that we put on this channel FHN today, be sure to subscribe down below and I hope you have a great rest of your week.